Tonight we're taking a closer look at an issue that is all too common this time of year, water main breaks. In the first the past two months, rather, these breaks have led to boil water notices, flooding and construction. Just yesterday, a driver crashed into the Davison fish market and blamed the mess on icy roads from a nearby water main break. Experts say it's a seasonal occurrence that isn't going to slow up anytime soon. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham spoke with the city on why that is and a professor on what can be done to limit the frequency of these breaks. I'm told by the city of Detroit the catalyst for a water main break is right here, the Detroit River. And once the temperature gets low enough, trouble is imminent. When the water hit uh, going into the waste to the water treatment plants hits 36 degrees, that's when we notice a, a substantial increase in the number of breaks that we have. Come late December, early January, and as we've seen lately, this is bound to happen. A water main break. Sam Smalley, chief operating officer for the Detroit Water and Sewage Department, says an aging infrastructure is also part of the equation. The average age of our system is 95 years old. He says some pipes date back to 1854. In February of 2019, the city reported 232 water main breaks. In February of 2020, 224. And in February 2021, 204. And when it happens... Our first responsibility is to provide safe, clean drinking water to our customers. So that's the, the first and foremost thing that we're always concerned about. So if a customer is out of water, that becomes our top priority. Secondly, he says inspectors make sure the flow on the street is able to drain away. If not, that rises in priority. Before any work begins, Miss Dig comes in and marks off any underground utilities. And then crews can excavate and either put a clamp on a damaged pipe or replace it. The utilities are trying as best they can with the resources they have. Seth Geikema is an engineering professor at the University of Michigan and says deferred maintenance is often an issue, often because of a lack of funding. I think the one thing that people need to realize is that with aging infrastructure, we're going to continue to have problems with pipe breaks. I've worked with cities that have 600 to 1,000 pipe breaks a year that they have to go respond to. So they're spending a lot of money responding to these breaks um, in a reactive mode and not able to get out in front of it because of these funding constraints. Water utilities are doing the best they can, but they need more funding to be able to deal with this from the cities and states. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.